Okay, hello everyone. I am back. So are you. Listen, we've got some stories to dive into. We've got some this and some that. But what we have right now is some Splatfest. So, ugh, I couldn't stream the last two days, which coincidentally happens to be the window in which Splatoon 2's latest Splatfest, known as Splatoween, has been running. But, you know, I just didn't have the time for it. But now it's going to end in like two hours. So I'm like, well, shit, I guess I'll do a daytime stream. Luckily, I do have the time to do a, a quick little stream. I'm only going to be doing the one game right now. Um, and then later tonight, I might be back with a proper two-game pair. So in the meantime, consider this a little bonus, because I want to see what's up. Because this is like, whoa! There's like glow-in-the-dark Halloween decorations. And slime. So with that, let's get into it. Y'all feeling fresh out there? We're off the hook, coming at you live from the middle of Minkopolis Square. Yeah, so I haven't even, like, voted for this or anything. Welcome to the 48-hour Trick vs. Treat Splatoween celebration. Head over to the Splatfest terminal and pick a side. Don't tell me what to do. And the Splatfest stages are blam. Muscle Forge Fitness. Have you ever seen Judge Dredd? Okay, this is just... Yeah, I know. That's an interesting pair. I guess this is what we're doing for the next two hours. Great maps. Marina, don't say that. We made a special stage for this Splatfest. I feel like they posted on their Twitter what this new Splatfest stage is going to be, but I forget what it is, so I guess I'm gonna get surprised all over again. Also, thought time! As always, let's check out the Splatfest post first. Um, you know, despite <laughs> not having much time. Also, there's like, look at this, there's like little whatever decorations. They're like glow in the dark too. <laughs> now that's a post. See? This is good to look at these. Oh look at this dude's little party hat. Oh it's a like a witch hat? Or oh no, those are the little the ties that oh I see it's tied around the head. But why isn't there a witch hat? Oh there is, but it's tied behind the amiibo. Which aren't out yet, I don't even think. Team treat is both sweet and salty. Fresh, but in a suspicious way. <gasps> oh, that's nice. Look, something's like behind here. Team treat. Cute. Boo. Team trick. Oh, I thought this was like a background post, but I see it's not part of the boo. Team trick. Lots of cute art tonight. Or I guess, in this afternoon. Can these furries please leave? Wait, what team are they on? Trick or treat. Great, so now both teams are cursed. There's that. What's the one up here? Give me something good to eat. Okay. Team Treat. Treat. I feel like I'm right now leaning towards Team Treat. Not because of the post or anything, but that's kind of just what I wanted to- Can you stop? They're everywhere! Okay. Team Attack. Team Snack. Trick or Treat. What else we got here? Ooh, I'm a ghost! <laughs> Oh, that's another cute post. Lots of great art today. These furries, though. How come it's only this post that shows up like a million times and everything else is like brand new? What have they done? I want to die. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Go team cat. Wrong Splatfest, buddy. Wasn't that like the very first like Splatoon 1 Splatfest? I want to die. Okay, now we're getting some repeats. Let's break some rules. I think I've seen that one before, too. Lots of Team Cat in that corner, apparently. Halloween! Halloween! I don't- I'm not sure I understand why the E's are big, but okay. Wow, a holiday we can commit petty crime and get free candy! Yeah, okay. Team Treat. Boo yeah. Oh, that's- now that's a good post! This Splatfest is too long. Well, it's just long enough for me. Look at all these decorations, it's great! Kinda looks like somebody vomited all over the plaza rather than anything that's like pleasant to look at, but you can see that they like went the extra effort and that's cool. Up for a trick, or maybe a treat? Then join our Discord. Hey, how about you join my Discord? F Whenever I play a Splatoon 2 stream, di other people's Discords get plugged more than I plug my own Discord at the end of the goddamn stream. The Gobbling Slayer has come to slay all. Or treats uwu. I do not understand. But that's that's alright. 
<gasps> oh, woo! I've seen oo woo, I've seen oh woo, but this is a very cursed combination. Now that's a trick. And that's a treat. What else we got here? I love the density of posts here. Oh, there's Roach. Treat. I got Trick Queen. Oh yeah, surely we'll have time to reach King. Lest our name be all a lie. What else we got here? There's still more, look at this! See, this is cute! Those are some good boys! Splatoween. Oh, look at this, even he's got a bit of a party hat. Is this dude usually in here? Huh. Yo, it's lit! Oh, look at this little ghost! It's adorable, I love it. What else we got here? There's usually a couple of more posts by the Salmon Run Zone, but I think these might be all repeats. Trick, that one looks new. Spooky. It's a reach, but I'll allow it. Okay, <laughs> that should be all of them, unless... No, it's just the Salmon Run sign. Okay, let's pick a team and get inside. Let's get in the gang and play. Uh, pick a side. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Tree. It's, you know what? Pearl's on Team Trick! I still refuse to side with her. Tree time, baby. <gasps> but my thought gear! I'm gonna have to wear the stupid t-shirt! I can't believe you've done this. No! My midriff! My poor midriff! We got some photos here. Oh, these are actually like the leading teams? But yeah, so... I think this is the first Splatfest I've played where they've like... Won 100x... Yeah, these are real teams! And Ro Roach is on one of those teams! I guess he's like one of the top Splatoween Splatfest whatever is right now. Whoa, cool! Yeah, because none of these other people are on my friends list. I don't think that's the way it works. I think these are like genuine leaderboards and Roach is like actually like one of the best players right now. That's really cool. But yeah, so this is like the first Splatfest that I've played since the, the 4.0 update. Uh, and they've done a few, but basically Splatfests work like way differently now. And this is gonna be my, like my first experience with how differently those behave and perform. So I'm sure, you know, Halloween theming aside, there's gonna be a bit more to figure out here. Yeah, so first of all, it's no longer solo or teams, it's normal or pro. Uh, so, on your Splatfest team, Splat- okay, so... And I think friends work differently too? We'll do a normal battle right now. I don't know if anybody else- well, maybe friends are online, let's see. Uh, maybe the- who is this- this is a horrible Halloween costume. Please delete this. Um, I think all of my current friends- What do you mean the clout meter?! There's a clout meter?! Okay, solo please. Wait, friends? So I can join friends? No, you've all betrayed me. Great, solo. <laughs> what the fuck is a clout meter? See, I told you there was like new shit in this Splatfest. Also, this palette is very nice. And in the meantime, let me take a sip. Newsflash, Honey Bunny, Cuck, Diesel, Sora, and Minty won a 100x battle for Team Trick. Interesting. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot to, to kind of figure out as we go along through this, but I'm excited to figure out whatever it is, you know? I wonder if the loading times are any better. Yeah, I think like the way, cause one of my biggest complaints earlier, right? Oh cool, so we're going up against Team Trick. One of my biggest complaints with the way the Splatfest system worked previously was that it was sometimes hard to find opposing teams, and if you played against uh, other players who were on the same team, which is the fallback if they can't find a matchup. Also, look at this little sepia filter and like the ghosts and stuff, that's cute. Wait, is that like gonna be on the screen the- that's on the screen the whole game? Okay, no it's not. I was a little worried. Like, it's a cool effect, but I was thinking it might be a little obnoxious. Also, look at this! Even like the maps are kind of- yeah, there's like little squid ghosts, and look at these decorations! This is all new. But there's no time to stop and smell the stickers. It's- we gotta kill. Oh, look at- I think this map changed. I don't remember this being- I remember you having to like jump to this, but... Is that a change or am I just stupid? Nope. Okay, maybe yes. Maybe yes. Leave! Immediately! <gasps> 
I can't even read that name because it's got an X through it. Um, but yeah, so one of my bigger complaints with the way the Splatfest system originally worked is that, you know, it's hard to find people who are on the opposite team, and the fallback doesn't... If you get, if you, so yeah, as I was saying, if you fight against uh, players who are on the same team, then it doesn't count towards winning the Splatfest. So if there's like um, a topic uh, or like, you know, a, a team side that like 80% of people vote for, then all those people are going to get stuck playing against people who are on the same team as them. And, or at least like, you know, 80% of the time. Uh, and it's going to be really, really hard for actual battles that count towards the Splatfest total to actually like count for anything. Uh, but supposedly they've changed that. I don't know, like, how specifically they have, but I guess we're about to find out. Because, I mean, the Splatfest is going to end, like, within this stream, so who knows? We'll probably see how it's tallied later on. Although I can't imagine that, you know, my contributions are going to mean very much when this is, like, two of 48 hours that I'm going to be doing this. Not even, probably, because they started a little bit, uh, after two. This is a really cool idea for a Splatfest, though. I'm kind of mad that they didn't do a Halloween theme last time. Like, maybe they just... This is just what they've spent the whole year doing. Just trying to figure out the Halloween technology that the Switch could run. And they finally did it. Stickers. These are the most advanced stickers. Maybe I should, like, put on some of the Halloween decorations, because I already have those. And if I can't wear my thought gear, I may as well wear the horns. We'll see how it looks, we'll see how it looks. It's been so long since I've uh, done any streams of Splatoon 2 either, so... <gasps> so, <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out my strats again. For example, here's a strat, stop in this lag. Nailed it. We're sure to win. Also, oof. Well, that went well. <laughs> yeah, but you should be able to... I, I've never used this change gear between matches feature, like, ever, because I always use the dualies and I always wear the same outfit, but let's see how the horns fare here. The clout. What is the clout? Uh, I mean, I guess I'm already leveling up, but I like the squid hair clip. Although I am told that it's not fresh, so maybe I will change gear and continue. I forget which stream it was, but there was a point where I had finished streaming. Oh, I don't know if I like how that looks. But I like the squid hair clip though, what is cute? I don't know man, this is a tough choice, but I only have so long to pick. Also there's the anglerfish mask. Ew! Okay, the squid hair clip! No, uh, yep, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. The tough choices we have to make sometimes. It's valid, but it ain't cute. Neobugs, Funku, Roach, and Captain Pearl won a 10x battle for team. Trick. He is on the opposite team. I can't believe you've done this. Wait, from the Lady Syndicate. So when you do, like, play on teams, then... How, how do your teams get named like that? Won a 10x battle for... I don't understand. What, what, what was the lady thing? This is really interesting though. I'm liking how different this is. The mask's a pretty cool piece of gear though. I mean, still still ain't cute. But it works. It's a, it's a, it's a good uh, candidate. Look at all these decorations though. This is great. Name. Leave immediately. <laughs> you. Also, I feel like something about this ink is like lit differently as well. 
it looks like thicker or like more viscous. I don't know. I think it's just like specifically something to do. It looks like. What do I want to compare this to? <laughs> Get this name out of here. It looks like like Jello or something, but like Jello that's gone bad or, or something. This looks really different. I wonder if that's like just the lighting or if they actually did anything more to like make the ink specifically look different. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's the uh, sugar sauce. Like it's supposed to be like candy or something, I don't know. <laughs> it's fructose corn syrup. It's the corn syrup, Luigi. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't look as... I felt like the earlier iterations of the ink already looked like plenty edible. But now it's like... I don't know. This is strange. I feel like there's like a lot more detail you can see in the ink too because of this new... Uh, because of the new way it's lit. It seems like there's a lot more like detail in it, you know? Whereas before, it was more easily lit as, like, a flat color. That's so weird, I don't know. At least the sponges look alright. Actually, do they? I don't know, I think even those are a little lit a little differently. You guys can see what I mean, though, as far as the ink is lit differently, right? Like, I ain't the only one seeing this? <laughs> God, this fucking name! Can you please leave? <gasps> Dope Boy 65. Oh no! I mean, I guess I can fill in this corner. There's not much I can do now. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this one either. Nailed it! I like how one of my bigger complaints has like always been, Oh, I never get to play against Team Trick. I don't get to play against the opposite team. This is stupid. It doesn't count. It's not fair. And that I actually do play against the opposing team, and I do nothing but lose! Although it's only been like, what, two matches? But it's it's certainly not setting a very good precedent. What's really going to matter is like later on when, uh... When we do start playing against our own team and, and seeing how those matches end up counting. So how do you get like a 10x or 100x battle or whatever? What are those? Because I believe that's a new feature as well. See look, the Lady Syndicate, what does that mean? How do you get a team name like that? From the Lady Syndicate? I don't know what that is done. And Cap and Pearl. Pearl, but Reggie, you work in Nintendo. You can't play. Not anymore. Pearl can't play in these games. That's not fair. It's time to meet your new squid sister, Tanner. My successor. Oh, more Team Trick players. Can't wait to be a detriment to my team. Oh, shitty station! Okay, 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 hold on. Let's see what this is all about. The Squid Mom. How do you get team names? I want a team name. Oh! <gasps> yes! Really, Squid Rails? Oh, I love these! Yes! Oh, shit! 
Yeah, because like in each of these shifty station things, they've been like incorporating different like mechanics from the single player stages. And one thing that I've always wanted, I mean, just in like the regular multiplayer stages, because I think this is before they like introduced the concept of shifty station. But as soon as I tried the grind rails in Splatoon 2, I thought to myself, man, I would love to have these in like the actual multiplayer stages. And, and now it's here. This is awesome. I wonder how many more things like this we're going to get, though, because, like, uh, whatever the last update was, I believe they said that that was going to be, like, the last content that we're going to get, um, as far as, like, new stages. So I don't know if, if, if shifty stages are included in that, or if they mean, like, until the end of 2018, or, like, if forever. Um, oh, any of these rails could be- oh, dear, I should have hopped off of that. Good to know. But any of these rails can be any color, so that's kind of adds an, an, uh, another layer to it. Yeah, so I guess just jump off of these things, dummy. That's the strategy. So far, though, this seems to be going pretty good. And actually, one other thing that I've been noting is that the P that you get over the course of the match, like as you like ink turf, that specific value seems to add to your, like, individual clout as the match goes on or whatever. So, again, I really think there's, like, more to this, like, Splatfest tallying than meets the eye initially. I'm sure there's, like, a changelog somewhere, but as far as I can tell, I have no clue what any of this stuff means. But, like, I can tell that it's a change, but I don't know why, like, or, like, what the change is. But I'm sure if, like, any splat heads showed up, they'd be like, Oh no, well, obviously the clout means, you know, it means how lit you are, and I'd be like, oh, of course, of course. Angela. Of course it's Angela. Hey! Go find your own turf. I wonder what's gonna, like... Fucking Angela. I wonder what's going to happen to these maps, like, later down the line, though, in terms of the life of this game. Because they come up with a new Shifty Station every time, and the Splatfests, like, if you go to Splatoon 1, they ain't doing Splatfests for that anymore, so these are, like, a finite thing that they're doing. So if the Splatfests end... What's gonna happen to these? Are we ever gonna be able to play them again? Are they just like a really a one-off thing? Because a lot of these mechanics I would have loved to have seen show up in like the standard stages, but they're only in Shifty Station. So are those gonna be gone forever then, or what? A treat fiend. That's me, all right. Yeah, I don't know about these colors, either. Purple and orange make a good, like, Halloween palette, but it's like... Purple's valid, but it's not as valid as pink, and I feel like... I mean, I guess, even though I won that match, I feel like I could be winning more if I was pink. Just saying. See, so now my cloud is 3401. And I don't get it, because that's where the fresh meter used to go. So is that just like a permanent change that they've made, or is clout only in Splatfests? Because the, the negative space within this little squid-shaped pill, is it's supposed to like fill up as you get more freshness or, or whatever. But even though I have clout, it remains completely empty, so I'm really not sure what, what it's supposed to do or what it's for. Now might actually be a good time to, uh, to check out the... Uh, they put the change logs on the website, right? Like, if you go to splatoon2.nintendo.com... Because they always say, whenever there's an update, check the site for details. So, here's the site. Where are the details? Uh, what's Splatoon 2? Game modes, gear, amiibo, news and video, buy now. Like, news and video, I guess? I don't know. Version 4.1.0... Well, I have to go back to see... Because this isn't the first Splatfest that works this in this new way, so I've got to see 
Starting with version 4.0.0, Splatfest and Splatoon 2 will also be changed significantly. Two new modes, Normal and Pro, and Pro replace the previous since Solo and Team modes. In Normal mode, you can jump into a Splatfest battle on your own, or join up with 1-3 to three friends in the same Splatfest team. So you don't need a full team of four, so that's how it's different, okay. If you join a match as a group of two or three, random solo players will be matched up to make a group of four. Cool. The clout! In this mode, the amount you ink is added to any win bonus you get to determine your clout. If your team is on a win streak, the game will try and match you against teams with a similar streak. Moreover, when weapons, gear, or general styles of four players and your teammate, certain conditions, a nickname, and a matching bonus will be given to your team. Hence, that's how you get the team names. Pro mode is for those who want to go solo and push themselves to the limit. In pro mode, you're judged on your Splatfest power. Raise it high enough and you could make it to the Splatfest top 100. This is probably what Roach was in. Also, the match is starting, so I gotta put that on a hold. But that's already, like, very illuminating. I'm looking forward to seeing, like, what else, uh, this stuff means. Also, as far as, like, tasty-looking ink goes, this shit is, like, ooh. Amazon.com, where to buy a barrel of ink. How'd they get to be pink? Oh, I guess because we're fighting against the same team. See ya, Catmaster. Yo, more like Splatmaster! Actually, both of these colors look very edible, I gotta say. Megan. I can't believe you've done this, Megan. Oh, shit. Where did Megan go? Is it- are you Megan? You are Megan! <laughs> like, actually! Something's afoot. No, don't you do this. I guess whoever was going here never went in that direction. Because I'm not seeing any further pink trails. Yeah, our side's good, so let's move on. For, well, for now... Megan! <laughs> oh, that must have been the person who splatted that trail up the wall, but they just never made it up. Although I'm not seeing them try that strategy again, so... Oops. Oh, this is valid. So ink out on an escape route. Like, what if those were ink rails? They kind of brought over the mechanics, but like not the really cool one. <gasps> oh, I actually made it. Nice. Can't I keep making it though? That's the question. Ooh, hoo hoo hoo. Yeah, fucking see ya! <gasps> oh, this is actually very unwise. I might be in some serious trouble here. Oh, they, they jumped for it! I was kind of hoping to get that before the end of the match. But still, I did, like, end up inking and, like, holding back a certain part of, like, their terrain, so... It wasn't for anything, we still lost, but go me. That was like worth some turf, right? It was actually only six ninety five. dollars See, like, this is the thing, I gotta like relearn how I did all of this stuff, because I, like, I'm terrible at combat, but the one thing that I feel like I was always like consistently good at was just, you know, inking turf and getting, like, a high amount of P. Even if we still lost, I feel like I usually got, like, closer to a thousand. When I was more experienced with this game, that is. Um, and now, you know, now that we're in the one situation where it kind of counts, uh, with the whole clout thing, it's like, I can't do it anymore. I've lost it. I'm losing it, Luigi! 
Uh, yeah, let's go back into the news thing though and, and see what other changes there are here. So in this mode, you increase your clout by beating the opposing team, as opposed to getting the P, I guess. Uh, you get more clout for beating teams with the highest Splatfest power. In addition to the above, 10x battles will be added in both divisions. Divisions, like it's a goddamn... Yo, escorts. These are rare matches that will occur if you're lucky, and if you win, your contribution points will be multiplied by 10. And believe it or not, there is a rumor that super rare 100x battles could also occur, which I guess is one that Roach got. If your friend wins a 10x battle, or if someone wins a 100x match, teams may appear on the big screen in Agopola Square. Yeah, so this is what Roach got on. So he was a friend and he did a, a 100x battle, I believe. Um, also, if you're in the lobby or during matchmaking, such information will pop up on your game like a newsflash. Team nicknames are also shown in regular mode, so you may want to try scoring a cool team name and winning these rare matches for bragging rights. The final Splatfest results are now decided based on three factors. Okay, okay, so this is like the big difference. Clout from normal mode players, and clout from pro mode players. Even if your side loses the popularity contest, normal and pro mode victories can slowly but surely turn the tables. Of course, participants on the winning side will receive slightly more Super C Snails as a reward for their victory. Good luck. Damn. So they really went like all out with these changes then, huh? This is still my first Splatfest, again, if you guys are just getting here, so... Oh shit, no! Okay, speaking of 10x battle! But this is actually against Team Trick, so it's gonna, like, really count! The Variety Society. I want a cool team name. Aw, man. <laughs> so, see, now I know how those team names work. So apparently they're based on, like, whether or not you have, like, a, your team has, like, a certain combination of weapons. I wonder how many of those there are. If it's, like, the hundreds of specific unique story names in Shadow the Hedgehog, or if it's like just a small handful. Also, the sky looks great. Did it always look at during night? Because I feel like this is like a Halloween sky. Yo, any splat heads can confirm? Okay, I really gotta make this count. I say as I like, have 162 pay, pay, P, like a minute into the match. I gotta make this count. Starting by making you not count. Nailed it. <laughs> See, I gotta like use the squid jumps more often. I, t I keep forgetting about that feature existing. <laughs> Please! Oh no. Well, as long as he win, that's okay, but I just the P. It's gotta be the P. The P has gotta count. <gasps> Don't do this. Well, what what cheapos around comes around, I guess. Uh, I mean, so far we're doing good, but I'm very concerned still. I don't trust like this. Also, let's like ink this, because this is like very unmanaged, unkempt. Ooh, we're getting ganged up on here. <laughs> Not Mega Mudkip. <sighs> yep, so much for that lead. Just in time for the one minute left. Oh no, but they're gonna turn the tides on us now. Goddamn ducky. <gasps> they're slaughtering us! No! <laughs> we gotta fucking we gotta turn this around! Oh no, okay, so that's done, but I just gotta like... You guys can like clean up and then I'll make like... I mean, they can't hear me, so I don't know why I'm saying it like this. But I've gotta like make a push, you know? You know, like that! <laughs> oh no, we're gonna lose this 10x match! We're gonna get tricked on! Oh, 20 sec- No, there is- Look at how much there is, and everybody who like dares step foot in here gets like immediately destroyed. He was destroyed! Yeah, like, I don't know how much of this is really gonna count for anything. It's too late. You're too late, Mickey! Goddamn Cheapo. It's Cheapo who's the problem. There's a Cheapo! There's peas in here! Oh, no! <laughs> but that was the 10x, goddamn. Yeah, I think my inexperience is showing.
Uh, hello, Noble Fooks. Welcome to the chat. Or Noble Fooka, even. Oh, boy. Yeah, that- I mean, even as far as what my average has been in this stream, it's, like, especially low. Like, 500 is pretty crusty. F. Hello, Telethik. Yeah, can you tell this is my first Splatfest in, like, several months? I've been sitting out on these for, like, so long. And this is the worst part, is that, you know, oh, it's this big 48-hour event. So had I gotten to it earlier, uh, then maybe I would have, like, a little more practice and I would, you know, be good, you know, alternatively. Uh, but, you know, there's only the, the, I guess, one hour left now. So, you know, oops. I gotta get good now. Yo, ain't clout the guy from Smash. <laughs> hey, Jake Jacto. Yes, he is. The Treat Queen. The Treat Defender. There's some great name potential in here. If, and only if, I would get to anything beyond Fiend, but I don't think I am. Let's just try and have fun. So what now? Am I gonna get a notification on the news ticker and all my friends are gonna see, Hey, Griffin fucked up a 10x match. If your team loses, it's his fault. Uh-oh. I wonder what this team name's gonna be. Ooh, Shifty Station again, though. This map I've been liking a lot. I've only tried it the one time before, but I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, no team name for us, as always. But no team name- oh. But I don't know, I think we might be facing a pretty tough opponent here. I didn't actually look at any numbers that may have shown up, but one of the characters' eyes, like, glinted in a very spooky way. So now I don't trust them. Do any Russia heads in chat know how to, how to pronounce the name of that dude that I just splatted? Do any A peers in chat? Give me the rail, give me the rail, give me the rail! Uh oh. That's no rail at all! Oh, <laughs> look at all these missiles that are targeting me! <gasps> you! How do you pronounce an upside down A, I wonder? This way? Okay, I'll follow the ghost. But, but there's a that I gotta take care of, though. Sorry, Ghost, your this way's gotta be on hold. I got turf to ink. I gotta be using my specials more often, too. Feels like so far they've been very underutilized. That's no rail, that's a fail. An epic fail. Thanks, Jake Jack Joe. Oh, you can switch rails! Oh, that totally changes all. Oh, this is why I've wanted these grind rails on these maps for so long, and now it's only gonna get used in this one-off stage. Oh, that's so much fun. That opens this up like so much more though. <laughs> I almost leaped off the ledge for no reason. Oh, there goes Agent 1337. That's no leap, that's a yeet. Also, Deku's playing Splatoon 2 too, apparently. Oh, I wonder what team he's on. Is he a treat or is he a traitor? Speaking of streamers, and also Splatoon 2, have y'all seen that little, like, rant that Chris did the other day? about the phrase trick-or-treat. It's very good. Oh, hello, ghost. See, who's following who now? Yeah, get out of here, Apier. Yeah, I was about to say that this begs the question as to where the other team is right now. I gotta get back. We gotta find the princess! 
I gotta say though, as far as P goes, I'm doing pretty well this time around. This is more along the lines of like what I usually get, should I be good at games. But you know, we all know how rarely that happens. And of course, I decide to get good as soon as I squatter the 10x match. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, let me pull it up while we're in the, uh, the lobby. Okay, kids. Let's see. So, if I were to go to... First of all, let, let me progress to this menu before I get too caught up in this, but... It should be... here. Okay. So this is from Christmas. Shouldn't it be treat or trick? Since the idea is you're asking them for a treat, and then threatening them with a trick if they don't. I know anyone is going up with the intention of tricking, then saying, but I guess if you give me a treat, that will quell my unlawfulness. Again, this is by Chris, and I will pull up the thread accordingly. The idea is that whether or not you get a treat isn't in your control. You could trick someone regardless if you're given a treat or not. If your motive is to trick, you wouldn't be asking for treats. If your motive revolves around getting treats, you would use the other one. The idea is that the person you're tricking will be manipulated into giving you a treat to get you to stop after seeing the damage you've already done. If you tell them you're tricking them before doing it, you risk them taking measures to prevent it without giving you a treat. The lore runs so deep. Dine or die, coward. Yeah, okay. Who knew Halloween was so complicated? I guess that's just not his forte. Honestly, I dislike the shifty station. The matches I played on it basically revolved around who can control mid. Yeah, me too. I'm also uh, very concerned with competitive meta. <laughs> I'm, I'm so I'm such a casual player as far as these things go. I guess the trick or treat just sounded smoother to say. You'd have to tell him. I don't know. <laughs> I think he actually might have a point, though. I think because he just is another holiday. Oh, look at that. Two-win streak. So I guess that's kind of like that factors into the clout? Or is that only for like the pro matches? Also, have there always been like tiny bits of particulate floating through the air in this map? Guys, guys, I think Muscle Forge Fitness has, like, an asbestos problem. <laughs> is that what the boo- Since when a booyah sounded like that? Oh, it might be an octo. I'm still not familiar with the octo noises. Oh, I was about to say thanks to Yoshi, but he was the one who just got killed. But defending me. Hate to break it to you, Chief, but you've gotta go. Oh, you can't aim the top of that. Okay. <gasps> then 10 rem? Yeah, okay. Oh, this is a slippery little fella. Yeah, get out of here, Jay. Nice. That should give us a pretty good window to get a lot of ink in. And to use this special. Don't you start with me! <gasps> yeah, I don't know. I feel like these details that were in the ink were like always like a part of the ink rendering but they they must have changed like how they're how visible they are because this really looks like some sort of fructose product rather than ink now yo what do you think would happen if you drank ink haha <laughs> asking for a friend wouldn't that be so funny haha <laughs> Thank you. 
Also, I gotta use a special like now. Uh, ah! Oh, I, I thought Ghost was the, an enemy. But little di did I know. But Ghost is a friend! You know, I'll let them do their thing, then I'll just like immediately erase their progress. That's a method too, right? I keep mistaking these bombs and ink trails for like enemy teams. <gasps> Ooh, this could be cutting it close, I don't know. Maybe check the map, dummy. No, yeah, we got this locked. Damn. Oh, do you mean the ink glowing? Yeah, that's exclusive to this splat vest, I think. I said earlier that it looks like jello or something. Or, like, more candy-like? It definitely doesn't look like ink usually does. Now that's some pee. Jake, Jack, Joe, can you not say these things? <laughs> Still a treat fiend, though. Ooh, my tea's almost leveled up, but not quite. Hmm. Those chunks will be mine yet. So, chunks, huh? Alright, newsflash. Amber, number one lamp, Rob, and Pashu from the Variety Squid Gang. What do you mean the Variety Squid Gang? What are these names? Won 100x battle for Team Treat. Linden, Tempest, uh, Jessica, and Kimi Luna from the Squid Forcing Tented Techie Gang. <laughs> what? What a 10x battle for Team Trek! What are these names? Also, hello, Femi. I think it, like, takes a bunch of, like, potential words and just, like, mashes them together based on, like, what weapons are in the team. Which, again, if it's organized like that, it begs the question, where's my team name? If it's just a mishmash, you think those would show up a lot more frequently, but I think I've yet to see one. Maybe I'll keep an, an eye out for them a little more closely, though, because there's totally a chance I could have missed it. You know, while I'm busy reading Christmas's Halloween discourse, which actually isn't here anymore, just a pleasant daytime desktop. Which must be fascinating to see, because it's usually, you know, nighttime. Also, Elgato, go. Thanks. Ooh, plan against the same team this time. Please, ma'am, may I have some pink? Alright, let's see what we've got. Oh, it's gonna be mint and... Mint and what? What goes with mint? That, I guess. Okay. Please don't tell the cat to go. Jake, I know you're being hilarious right now, but I... D what do you mean, the cat? I do not understand! Oh boy. I'm being followed. <gasps> I had to consider that as an option. I guess you could go up the wall instead of going up the ramp. That's a much smarter way to do that. Oh, Elgato means the cat, does it? What? In Spanish. I know what level- I get it now, but now I'm just curious as to why they're called the cat. Oh, there's like a whole space down here. And a sponge? There's definitely a lot to this map that I still haven't quite figured out. This is maybe my, like my third or fourth run on it. <sighs> Can I get three? I'll take two. Cause it's a good name. You got me there. <gasps> I tried to get away from it as soon as like, wow, that was really far away too. Still pretty evenly matched, though. So, from what I understand now, after reading the 4.0 changelog, is... Can y'all leave me alone, please? Damn! You again!
Oh, God. Um, but yeah, so I thought that these matches, like, counted for something now when you play against your own team, whereas before they were stupid and did not. But now I'm kind of... so... Because I think it kind of doesn't? Basically, these matches still affect your clout, which helps you get matched against, like, the more valuable teams on the opposite side. But then at, like, the same time, it's like, well, sometimes it's different in, like, this mode compared to pro mode, and it's like, I didn't have to, like, reread that many times to really figure out how useful these matches against your own team are. Because upon further thinking about it, they might still be actually kind of useless. It's the closest we'll get to having something be called the Coochie, considering it is a synonym for Jake Jack Joel! <laughs> I can't be reading this shit while my team is, like, counting on me. Is the game audio supposed to be muted? Wait, what? What? It's set to all be- Oh no! It's been set to multi-output, what do you mean? <gasps> oh, it's the fucking Soundflower 2 channel! There's the audio. It's been off the whole time! Oh no! <laughs> yep. This is a mood. That's me when I realized the audio's been off the whole time! People were here, nobody brought that up? <laughs> Oops. I can't believe I've done this. This is what happens when you try to do an impromptu daytime stream. When there, you're, there's a timer at 4 o'clock. <sighs> Oops. Yeah, you got that right. I mean, thankfully the Splatfest only used, like, what? <laughs> a track? So... If I, if I really tried, I could, like, get the OST and, like, manually put the music back in. But, like, I don't know if that's worth it. <laughs> <sighs> Honestly, what I could even do is just, like, go into the, the in-game music player thing and just, like, record the audio from there and then plop that in. I might do that. <laughs> Ooh, it's been a- when was the last time I made that mistake? It's been ages. You're more like treat fool. And die me fool. Huh. Okay. See, Treat King, that's what I'm trying to get, but I can hardly get to, like, Treat Baby. So, weather, huh? Where's, it? Where's this fourth teammate? It's hard enough finding opponents. You're telling me I can't find teammates? Thanks, Nintendo Switch Online. You're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> We're gonna run out of time here. You seeing this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So does my clout, like, deplete if that happens? Oh no. I guess we're about to find out in like 10 seconds. Come on, we, we, we really can't get a teammate? <sighs> Come on, please! Please! Returning to the lobby because not enough players join the battle. Oh no. My clout! Oh no! Oh no, wait, it's actually still there. Okay. Never mind, false alarm. Still, that's actually kind of silly. I'm glad I don't play Splatoon 2 anymore. Yeah, I, d like, I definitely don't play it, like, on my own time unless I'm streaming it. So I really only do it, like, 
two hours every now and again. Um, I hesitate to say I have fun every time I do it. Uh, I just like checking out new content every now and again, but there's kind of no new content anymore. So I'll probably be like checking out this game like a lot less frequently. I mean, I did the Octo expansion. I d you know, it's like I kind of have already done everything there is to see and do with this game. So probably after this, I wouldn't expect to see this for like a while. Um, unless I guess they do new stuff, but it seems like we're at like the tail end of this game's lifespan. Ultimately, though, at the end of the day, like when you think about it, I would go to the home menu right now and show like the exact amount of hours that I like put into this game, but uh, I believe doing so would once more boot me from the lobby and destroy my clout. Although it actually didn't destroy the clout, so I don't know what I'm so worried about. Um. Okay. So what's this team all about? I definitely had a good run with this game. I think I'm happy with like what I've got out of it. Yo, we got team names though? Still no team names. Weird, okay. I mean, uh, apparently there's like a, uh, a ranked mode that was like still unused, found in like some patch files or something. So maybe that might be like another new thing that they add, but in terms of new maps, like that's and new music and stuff, like that's usually the kinds of things that like get me to come back to this game. And, and as far as I could tell, that those sorts of things seem to just be done now. So I wonder if they are going to do though for like because when Splatoon One had the last Splatfest, right? It was like this great big, you know kind of goodbye to the game, I guess, where it was like, you know, Callie versus Marie, and that was like a really cool event, right? Um, and I wonder if there's anything like, because this isn't the last Splatfest by a long shot, but I'm really curious to see like when that time comes, what they're going to do in it, if it's going to be like Splatoon 1 or not. Agent 8, you're in the big leagues now? Am I though? If my Octo Expansion playthrough was any indication, Agent 8 is not a very talented player. <laughs> I was just about, I was just about to go to sleep. Hey Snoodoodle! Hate to break it to you, Chief. Uh, I should only be going for like 50 more minutes. Uh, cause this Splatfest ends pretty soon. I just wanted to get it in before the Splatfest does end, cause I didn't get to play it at all yet, so... Oh, this is very unfortunate. Hey, I don't know if you guys knew this, but there's actually an identical structure on your side of the map. If you want to cover it with so much ink, maybe do that on your side? Oh my god. They're all the way up here. This is doing no favors for my pee. Don't you start with me. Don't you start with me! Okay. Thanks, Spookories. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Yo, any spooky heads in chat? Any Halloween heads in chat? <gasps> also, I mean, I guess it would make sense within, like, this Splatoon universe, but I'm surprised. Don't you ram me off the ledge, you big bully! Uh -uh. Cut this out. Great. Uh, but I haven't seen any pumpkins in any of like, these maps or like in the plaza or anything like that. Like, again, it would make sense that pumpkins like wouldn't exist in the Splatoon universe, but that's like some pretty standard Halloween iconography. Oh yeah, we definitely did this one. Any Halloweenies in chat? I haven't played Splatoon 2 since Nintendo Switch Online. This might as well be a form of torture. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is... Wow, so I... I wonder if you don't have Nintendo Switch Online and you open up Splatoon 2, like... And there's still, like, the single-player stuff you can access. But, like, is all the other stuff gonna be there? Like, imagine, right? You don't have the membership and you open up Splatoon 2 and there's, like, this big Halloween party going on. 
and you don't get to participate because you don't have the membership. Oh, what's that? Sorry, you're not invited. My mom says I can only invite so many friends, you know? <laughs> oh. Or if it's just empty, like, because I, I got that on day one, so I have no clue. I got the headgear they gave away, but hmm, smelly. Yeah, I think that's just related to the to the news app, right? I remember Arms doing a bunch of stuff like that with the um achievements or the badges or whatever. Kind of wish maybe we got some different maps besides Muscle Forge Fitness and Warring Towers, but I guess it's my fault for not doing this. You're on Team Treat anyways, LMAO. I would have been bonking you so you're safer this way. You're telling me you would have gone on Team Trick as well? I can't believe you've done this. You know what? The Nintendo Switch Online app actually shows you now which of your friends voted for like which team. So during the next lobby, that's my, that might be what I do so I can see which of my friends have betrayed me and which haven't. I know Roach has already, but... One could say he already did that when, you know, I got dumped. Uh, <laughs> but, I don't know, Deku was playing some Splatoon 2 earlier. I got a little notification for that. What's his story? Fun fact, you can still vote what team you're on for Splatfest, but you can't play. Weird! I wonder if that, like, still ends up counting towards anything, or if that's just, like, a local thing? Like, would you still get super sne sea snails just for voting for the winning team? I wonder how that works. Don't you start with me, Orange. Team Dick versus Team Snap. You fool, Dick is the Snap! Yeah, where's Team Grapefruit, though? You don't? Huh. It feels like they just like left that in by accident then, I don't know. You can vote, but you don't get to participate or get snails. Huh. Interesting. There are still other ways to get snails though, right? Because that's a pretty important mechanic to upgrading your gear. But then again, you know, why would you need to upgrade your gear if it can only be used in the online matches, which you do not have access to? I guess I've never really thought about, like, what a Splatoon that, like, permanently has online turned off would look like, but, like, damn. I guess it would look like what you've got, Snoodoodle. How long is the trial period for Switch Online anyways? Is it like a week or a month or like three months? I remember them specifying that, but I forget what it is because, you know, I just own it. I mean, owning Splatoon 2 after Switch Online is a punishment even, so... Uh, I mean, connection-wise, I've been... I seem to be having a pretty good experience so far. Also, we won! We beat Team Trick! And by we, I mean them. Specifically not me. Oh, that's some good clout. <gasps> Treat Defender! Oh, we're climbing the ranks. The trial was only a week. Life is a punishment, TBH. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like 
especially bad for the people who like don't necessarily keep up with like Nintendo news. Because for me, you know, I was like, you know, on the Switch announcement, like day one, following it, like up to launch, right? And I watched that January Switch presentation where they like talked about their plans for online. It's like, oh, well, there's not going to be region locking. There's going to be some some games, believe it or not. Uh, but one of the things that they talked about, like right at the beginning, I believe, was their plans for online, and specifically from the beginning that they said this that it was going to be free as like a trial period while they were like finalizing the online and then it would become a paid service. And I knew that because I keep up with it, but not everyone's gonna watch, you know, a keynote with uh, Hisashi Nogami doing Splatoon 2! Uh, or, the, you know, the year of the Octoling pose. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, like, for some people, you know, somewhere out there, the online just turned off one day and out of the blue, they just started charging for it, you know? What I feel like they should have done, right? is because right now, it was actually like a bit of a meme for a bit. If you don't have the Switch Online membership and you try to play an online game, it'll give you a pop-up telling you about Switch Online being required. And But that pop-up only started showing up after the service, you know, launched as a paid thing. I think they should have been doing that from the very beginning to mention that this is going to become a paid service in this far-off date or whatever. Just as like a heads up and then you can still play for free. Because otherwise, they, they like really did not talk about it up until the service was like going to launch, which is like really unfair to people who like don't keep up with every little thing. You know, as great as that keynote is, and as badly as I think everybody you know should watch it, if <laughs> if only for that horrible translation too, you can battle against people you don't know. I still fucking quote that to this day. I love that. Uh, Interpreter. <gasps> oh, they turned around! They got sneaky. I can imagine that for some kids, Splatoon 2 just got deactivated randomly. Yeah, like, there's like, um... I've told a couple of stories about this, this cursed child that I babysit. Who, by the way, I was with last night again, and they were like, playing Star Wars Battlefront 2, which his parents got him, I guess, so he's okay to play it. But at the same time, he was, like, showing me his, like, music on his iPad, I guess? And he has, like, this... He's like, here's the music I go to sleep to. And it's this playlist of, like, <laughs> of, like, Minecraft music. And one of them is like, I need a diamond sword, 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 sword. I need a diamond sword, 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 sword. <laughs> and then there, my, my particular least favorite is called Hacker, which is basically just the percussion of We Will Rock You while talking about a Minecraft player that hacks. Um... And it's like, I, like, he paid money for this shit! I can I mean, what music would you go to sleep to? Mind rock. <laughs> Gamer core. <laughs> um, but basically, this kid was telling me about, like, how he couldn't figure out why he wasn't able to, like, play online anymore. And I had to explain to him, like, what Switch on Online was. And I don't think he, like, still gets it either. And he actually, like, likes the Nintendo Directs, too. Like, whenever, like, there's a new one, he'll ask if I can, like, put one on for him so you can, like, see the new stuff that's coming out. I think, in particular, he's he's very excited for Smash Bros. But he doesn't know who any of the new characters are, so the hype is a teensy bit dampened. Yeah, I just, like, ended up putting it on for him, and he's like, This is stupid! Where's the Isaac from Golden Sun? Fuck you, Sakurai! Which, you know, one day. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> There's too many Fire Emblem characters with swords! Where's my anime swordsman from this RPG instead? Please. Please stop this. I can't believe you've done this. I go to sleep to Harvest Moon OST. Well, that's kind of Minecraft OST, isn't it? Griffin gets owned by Small Child. <laughs> Listen! This is the Small Child that I've invented. He didn't- <coughs> He likes this! He doesn't say mean things about Corrin, at least. I think his favorite Smash Bros. character is Captain Falcon, actually. <gasps> well... 
This is what happened. I guess I need a diamond sword. No, actual Minecraft OST would be great to go to sleep to, but it's all like Minecraft parody songs and shit. I forget what else was in that playlist. There was a lot by Imagine Dragons as well. Like, it's like some... I mean... Which is weird too, because even those were still like very like angry and aggressive and like energy filled songs, which I wouldn't, you know, personally go to sleep to, but uh, it's generally like, you know, stuff you would expect from the charts for like the first two thirds. And then you hit the bottom and it takes a hard turn into exclusively Minecraft music. And I can't remember any more of those titles, but I remember another another one of the another one of the titles was called like Dear Captain Sparkles or something like that. Oh, I wish I knew where more of them came from, or where to find more of them, because those sound great. Actual Minecraft music is okay, but Dead Mouse may eat dirt. Where did Dead Mouse come into this conversation? Guys, remember that one time at the Game Awards where they brought on Dead Mouse and he played like the Ghost House theme from Mario World, and it was like a mess. That was good. Why does the Game Awards even bother having musical performances? They're never good. Remember when they did Jump Up Superstar, but it was so clearly lip-synced? Are we talking like trap music with the random sound drops and noise? I can't stand that. I don't know. What? What? It's whatever you think Minecraft music sounds like. It's just like, you know, whatever regular songs, you know, just standard like pop songs, but you know, about Minecraft. I guess, yeah, it's Imagine Dragons, but about Minecraft. Imagine Minecraft. Imagine Ender Dragons. This, someone has definitely done that. The Minecraft parody market is way too vital. Is way too lucrative for someone not to have tackled that. Has anybody done Minecraft Gangnam Style? That's such an eat. Someone's got to have gone for that. Oh, well, Femi apparently found the Captain Sparkles one. They're putting it in the shitpost folder on the Discord now. That's great. I'll definitely be sure to look at that, because as far as... He didn't actually show me that song, so I have no idea what it's about. Is it, like, supposed to be a diss track about Captain Sparkles? Is it, like, a nice song about him? I don't know. Is it a eulogy for Captain Sparkles? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, corrupted. You're more like corrupt dead. So, new grand's remixes that haven't been audio balanced. I guess. But then again, it's not it's not like my streams are audio balanced, you know, considering what just happened a little bit uh, ago. And by a little bit ago, I mean for like the past hour. That's all I had on my iPod Shuffle back in the day. Some of the remixes sounded like farts that were bass boosted. Yeah. It's on Captain Sparkles' channel, so I would imagine it's nice and pure. Huh. Or is it, though? What if Captain Sparkles is in the midst of coming back with, like, with his own disc track? Because in the songs that he did show me... It did not sound like Captain Sparkles was, was singing those tracks. So it, it seems to me like somebody else were, was making songs about that YouTuber. I don't understand this world. I'm fed up with this world! Oh, goddammit, there were like three other targets this way. E for everyone. Yeah, speaking of, he also showed me like his YouTube Kids app. He, he wanted to show me a, a video where, I guess, some people made, like, a, uh, a car, um, like a, like, it was a Bugatti that was made out of, out of Legos, and aside from, like, the overwhelming feeling that this was, like, definitely a sponsored thing by both Lego and the car brand, uh, it was actually, whatever, it was, it was pleasant, but, like, to get to it, he was like, oh yeah, let me go through my recently watched, and he whips through this endless list of these Elsagate Minecraft videos before landing on that Lego thing, and I'm like, oh! 
Yeah, the video he showed me was fine, but the watch history was very concerning. Ooh, that's some chunky clout. What, what's a synergy bonus? What do you mean? Wait, that also goes towards the Splatfest points? How? Is that like a multiplier for like winning multiple matches? Because I definitely have not been doing that. What's the synergy bonus? YouTube kids. Oh boy. <laughs> yep. I think that's my first time seeing the YouTube kids app in person though. It's very wild. Wait, Rocky? I guess it does show you specifically the Variety Syndicate. It does specifically show you when your friends get them, so that's not actually a newsflash. The 100x ones, though, on the other hand. And Dr. Squid from the also the Variety Syndicate won a 100x battle. Yo, ain't multiplier that Let's Player. <laughs> God damn it, Jake Jack Joe. Hmm. How can we help? Ooh, Shifty Station, though. I can mess with this. The Sneaky Dude Warriors! And the Variety Squad. I like the Sneaky Dude Warriors. That's me, sure. That's me. <gasps> I gotta, like, make, like, multiple escape routes here. For example, this! These rails, I don't trust like this. <laughs> please, please, please! Ah! <laughs> I saw him coming up behind me! Oh, 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 oh. oh, but he's still gonna be on my tail though, I don't trust this. Get to heck out of here! Do not follow me, please. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, they're back for revenge. Someone is, anyways. Well, that actually doesn't help much. You have to jump off at the edge. What is this lad up to? Cut that out. And you cut that out! What are you doing? What's wrong with you? Man, I remember when Reggie, like, straight up said that? Like, he just, like, did. What's wrong with you? Isn't that, like, from one of, like, the very first Nintendo Directs and they were, like, talking about new 3DS games or something? I like how I use them talking about 3DS games as an indication that it's an old Direct, when they still fucking do that in the new Directs. God, when are they gonna let that die? Just say it. Just confirm it already. Hey, speaking of, though, uh, that Luigi's Mansion port came out, uh, a couple of days ago. How was that? Did they, does anybody in chat, like, have that? How are they liking it? <gasps> you! I don't have anything against you, but you're orange, so, you know, you. Also, pizza time. Pizza time. Ooh, this is looking good. Everything's coming up, King. This is going to be cutting it close. I don't know what's going to happen here. It looks pretty faithful, aside from the lack of dust effects, and Luigi and King Boo have their dark moon designs. Oh, does King Boo have their dark moon design? That actually sounds pretty cool. As far as changes go. I was a bit worried about my Switch this other day because it wasn't charging when I docked it. I don't know if that's my fault. I'm not good with fitting it in its place. 
Well, if it is in the dock, then the green light should at least, like, blink. If not, just, like, be on if it's actually in the dock. What you can always do, though, to, to see if it is the dock or the switch is to just, you know, open up the dock in the back of the tray and plug the USB-C cable directly into the switch. And if it still goes, then you're probably fine. Or just replace your dock, because that's an easily replaceable part. Speaking of Luigi's Mansion, I've got to make some time to do that sometime this month. Because this is like the, the last third of October. i got to make this count. What with my Alan Wakes and whatnot. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, October is going to be the month where I finish all these games. That I've been going on since like August or September or whatever. Uh, and now here we are, October 21st. Okami still has a long ways to go. Hollow Knight still has a long ways to go. Alan Wake just started. Sonic Unleashed is, I feel like, getting there, but it feels like with all of my series that I've got going on right now, I've still got to do more Human Fall Flat. We're still trying to get that going uh, in in the background, behind the scenes, but... Oh, we're still the Sneaky Dude Warriors. The Squid Gang! Well, so much for my name. I want that name now. But yes, Booyah. Like... I'm very concerned that a lot of these series are going to end up creeping into November. I mean, I've definitely been having like a lot of fun with them, but I was hoping October would be that month, because I've been like bouncing between a lot of the same series for like a while now, so... I mean, I'm still like finishing things, like Xenoblade got finished up, Alan Wake should be pretty short, Sonic Unleashed is on the way there, but like... Poor Okami and Hollow Knight, you know? Fucking surrounded here. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Oh, Femi! Don't make that joke. I could have made that during a Hollow Knight. That would have been good shit. You've outfunnied me. Congrats. Here's the stream key. Griffin, you say this, but to be honest, you're playing a lot of games. Well, here's here's a little heads up for y'all, because for the next few days, oh, <gasps> you <laughs> you just threw me off the edge. Long live the king, I guess, which is actually quite fitting because my inkling's name is King. But I have a bit more time to myself for the next couple of days, so. I don't know if you guys were around for this. It was like when I was playing Chibi Robo or like some sort of window like that. But there was a little bit where I was doing three games a night instead of two. And I might start doing that again for a little bit. Just like over the weekend and maybe like Monday and Tuesday. Um, but hopefully that'll give us like some more opportunities to like, you know, finish shit for once. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. But that's definitely what I want to shoot for. I want to spend as much time catching up on this stuff as I can. Especially because I haven't, like, been streaming the past few days. So I've had some, like, uh, you know, family stuff to, uh, sort through. And as eager as I am to air my dirty laundry all the goddamn time, <laughs> this always happens during Splatoon 2 when I happen to be at, for, at, uh, the luxury of talking about dark shit. But, man, what's been happening lately, I don't even think I want to talk about that. Like, it's... It's that kind of level. Um, but, you know. It's, it's, it's the usual inside of my situation being a nightmare. Speaking of, though, to, to turn the topic a, a tad nicer, as far as escaping this situation goes, uh, wrapped up that commission that was inquired about the other day. Uh, so, you know. I'm, I'm free to for that again. You can probably finish Hollow Knight in a couple streams if you go for only the first ending, but then you miss a lot of cool stuff. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Honestly, you, like, whenever I'm doing a Hollow Knight, Femi is, like, there as, like, my, my guardian angel, kind of, like, walking me through, like, where all the cool shit is, so... 
I think I'm probably gonna start, like, whenever I do Hollow Knight next. Probably tonight, honestly. Um, maybe tonight will be Sonic Unleashed, Alan Wake, and then Hollow Knight. That sounds, like, that sounds like a good combination. Um, because Alan Wake is also kind of a late night game, but Hollow Knight's like a late, late night game. So that it could be like that particular thing. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what I can do. Cause you know, I uh, cause once I'm done streaming this, whenever the Splatfest ends, there's like some other stuff that I want to do today. Cause my room's a little messy, and I and I kind of want to do some laundry and shit. I should have put the laundry in before I started streaming. You fool! I can't believe I've done this. Three games a night, huh? Damn, Christmas comes early. Well, no, Christmas. I mean, yeah, Christmas did come early, earlier when I was reading his tweets on stream. You could say that you're a family guy. <sighs> but then Hollow Knight streams would be over. Well, <laughs> I'm just gonna try to do more streams, is what I'm getting at, basically. Griffin, I feel ya. The conflict of wanting to open up about things, and also not wanting to be an open book and have cocks drawn on your pages. Well, to be fair, I am the one drawing the cocks in the pages, if Okami is any indication. Um... I don't know, like, the usual reasons that I feel like I don't want to talk about personal family shit is like literally because I stream in my room and usually my mom is home when I stream. So if, I, so if I'm like saying, hey, I don't feel fucking happy or safe when, you know, I'm living with her and she's like up there, I don't want her hearing that shit because then I might get like, you know, grilled about that and she's going to be like, oh, what do you mean, you ungrateful child or, you know, whatever. Or if you don't like it, then maybe I'll just throw you out as I've threatened to do many times. So, you know, I just don't want to fucking engage with that. So, it's just it just whenever I'm home alone, I feel like a little more free talking about that shit. And I have talked about that shit. There are some very early Splatoon 2 streams where I talk about, like, like back in February or something, when I thought my situation was, like, a lot more dire than it ended up being. Because, again, as far as that whole being threatened to be thrown out thing goes, I thought I was gonna be homeless by the like the end of the month, so I was trying to move out like as soon as I could. And I talked a little bit about that during uh, some er super early Splatoon 2 streams. I believe it was actually during a, a Splatfest just like this where I was talking about it, but... You know... She ended up being like, Oh, the, what do you mean? I never said that! What are you talking about? I would never do that! Um... But, you know... I still have those savings, and I'm still trying to like save further to find a place, but... Um, so far, no, no, no cigar. Uh, so that's like one thing, you know, I'm, I'm fine talking about that. It's just like the reasons that I don't want to talk about the specific things that resulted in me not streaming for the past day or two are like, they're not more personal, but I guess they're more upsetting, you know? Like it just for me, honestly. So I, I, I don't know. Hey, video games, huh? To be honest, all I've done today is wash dishes. I'm emotionally and physically drained for the next 48 hours. Well, good thing that there's nothing, no other 48-hour events going on that you could be spending your time with. <coughs> um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I get like in a mood for like the cleaning shit. And I feel like I'm in one of those moods today, so I want to get some stuff done. I feel like it's like... Like, being told to clean stuff is one thing, but like, from the bottom up, if you just like, feel personally where you're like, Yeah, I want to get some shit done today. I want to clean stuff. I want to organize things. I want to, you know, have a, a nice bedroom, and then I'm gonna crawl into some fresh sheets, and it's gonna be great, you know? Like, that's a great feeling when you get that work done. And I feel like that's one of the moods today, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. You know, despite not putting in my laundry, I say as I yell at my laundry basket from across the room. That's how I feel when my grandparents come up. My grand bullies me for a lot of my lifestyle habits and stuff, but she doesn't know I'm trans, so she's wasting her breath on this quote-unquote old-fashioned tripe. Oof! That is so shitty. I'm sorry to hear that, Snoodoodle. That is terrible. Yeah, speaking of family shit, like, there's a whole can of worms to open up as far as me being gay and my dad, so I've, I definitely, like, 
can somewhat understand the perspective of, of, of being, like, not accepted by a, a close family member, I guess. I'm really sorry to hear that, Snoodle. I hope things get better for you. I don't mind doing dishes. I do mind the back pain that comes with it. Does your back hurt when you do- Is that a normal thing that happens? Maybe it, it's just, like, dependent on the height of the counter, I guess? What always bothers me isn't, you know, back pain or any pain, really. What bothers me about doing dishes is, like, when it's, like, meat-related. If I'm, like, cleaning meat out of, like, a pan or something like that, right? And the meat comes loose and it's floating around in the water and my hand, like, touches it. Like, the meat slime that's floating around. It's, like... <gasps> I can't handle it. It's the worst tactile sensation I've ever felt in my life. Wait, five win streak? God damn. Let's keep it cooking. Yeah, booyah indeed. I guess I've just been very distracted by uh, just the, these conversation topics that I didn't realize how I was doing, like how I was, how I was performing in, in uh, this match right now. Or in these matches. I relate to a lot of what you're putting down. I got out for the most part, and I hope you do soon. Damn. <laughs> That's really nice to hear. Thank you very much, uh, Femi. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like... In February, uh, that was like a really awful situation, and I just... I felt really hopeless, and I was in a very dark place, and that's all I will say about that. I won't go into any more detail. Um, but it, as, as far as like... Just like the sense of dread and, you know, helplessness that I was feeling all the time. I don't know, I guess she just like, stopped? But she like, also hasn't, you know? It's because, there's a difference between like, correcting the bad behavior and just stopping the bad behavior, you know? And all I've gotten is, you know, she's not putting me in this terrible place anymore, so that's really the best I can ask for right now, lest I <laughs> make things worse all over again. I'm just trying not to rock the boat, you know? Because, man, I remember telling her when I did want to move out, it was, like, such a fight. She was, like, so upset with me. Dishes are prepared for size difference. Now that's valid. I'm five foot exactly, so I'm probably just too short for most things. I'm glad that these are the two topics we're talking about right now. Really, they go hand in hand. Get the hell out of here, Aqua. What is that, Vimo United today? At least I remember the acronyms this time around. The United States of Vimo. Get the hell out of here, you oranges. Speaking of oranges, I haven't had any Mandarin oranges yet today. I have yet to go ham on that. And I think that's also what I'm going to do after I'm done streaming. I'm trying to read chat right now, but things are getting a little too heated for that. I'll read it uh, during the lobby. Gamer 200! Holy shit. The 200 the gamer? The ancient ones. Oh, I don't know, this is getting pretty orange. This is what my house looks like after I go ham on an orange. It's reassuring that you're not on your own and how you have to cope. It's a shame, but it's nice to fort- to find- to fort- to Fortnite, to find support amongst people online. Well, my grand gave us these stinky heavy plates, that's not my fault. I'll yeet those out the window if I gotta clean the- CLEAN! If I gotta clean those plates again. Everything else is peachy. Guess that makes Griffin Gamer 201 then. He's been bested. Oh, I'm actually almost like leveled up now, look at this! I level up so rarely. I have no idea how Roach is at like level- like, he's probably at 99 prestige right now if I were to check, but... Let's just say he's at, at a hell of a level right now. What hap- 
What even happens if you get to 99 prestige? He's gonna be the first person to find out because he cannot stop playing this game. But I'm just grateful to get to 37. Yeah, heavy dishes are crummy. I mean, we have a dishwasher, so it's like those those sorts of things. Uh, I only have to do like pots and pans, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm on my I'm uh, on my own for the next little while, so um, hopefully that shouldn't be like too much cleaning that I'll have to do after myself. There's no way one person plays that much. He probably has roommates level up for him or something. You have no idea. Listen, I dated the dude. I know what the fuck is up with that lad. Those hours were earned, believe me. The Variety Dude Warriors, I see. The Shooter Dude Society! I hate that now I'm like, now that I'm like actually getting names, all the other teams that I run into are like besting me with their names. You'd be surprised how many hours you can squeeze out of a week. Yeah, true. And I guess it depends too if like if Roach was using like those um those uh snacks that like give you more XP. Oh booyah, booyah bomb. Haven't seen those like at all tonight. Yeah, I keep forgetting how you're, like, supposed to earn those, but that would be, like, a huge difference as far as leveling up goes. Yeah, the XP snacks. You're looking like a snack! Dishwater's... Dishwaters? Dishwashers? I can't fucking talk. Usually when I can't talk, it's like at the very end of the night, like around midnight, where I just can't read without like stumbling anymore. But this is like, it's 3.51 p.m. What's happening to me? Anyways, dishwashers, electric kettles, and drying machines are the enemy in this household. Also, renting a cup of water and putting it on the draining board will cross you off my Christmas card list. That's true. I hate that. What do I shoot? Who do I shoot? There we go. Can I reach anything from here? Oh, I can. Oh, but our team's all in one place, and I want to split up a little bit. Lest someone breach our defenses like that! Griffin is a peak gay. He's physically incapable of reading. Does me? <laughs> My god, you're so gay. <laughs> Oh, there's no, there's no rail to leap to. This orange man has got his beat. Yee! Oh no, this match is, well... It's kind of at a split right now. But we're very quickly getting infiltrated. Penetrated, even. I'm just gonna leap right into it, let's do it. Let's see if that's enough to turn it around. I didn't check the map, let's see. <sighs> nah, they've got more of the middle and more of our side. I think they've got it. Oh yeah, by a long shot, too. Not even close. Oof! Oh, look at the horns on the afro hair. That's adorable. Precious. Yet somehow I'm at the top of the leaderboard at the moment. Yeah, I almost got like a thousand P again. See, now I'm like kind of getting back into like the groove of like how I usually play. The days of 500 P are long gone. Like, that was a loss too. Definitely explains why the clout's going up as much as it is. Yeah. 
Yeah, fair enough. Some people divide their time differently. I don't know. Like, I feel like as far as any chores go, I don't mind it too much. Um, but I find that I like laundry. Laundry is, like, nice. Like, if I can just, like, put on a podcast and, like, fold some shit, I am settled. I'm done. I'm taken care of. I don't know. It's, like, therapeutic. Your team rarely seems to paint the corners, and that's been driving me crazy. You're tearing me apart! Um, that wasn't even earned. <laughs> but, yeah, I know what you mean. I've noticed that a lot, too. But, you, I'm just trying to go for, like... Like, the super important stuff before I go after the corners. Believe me, I'm a stickler for corners as well, but... When, when you're going up against, you know, tricksters like these, you kind of have to have your priorities in line. Also, Splatfest is almost over. There's like five minutes left. This could be like the last or the second last match. I like sweeping. Sweeping is fun, except the sneezing fits that come with it. I feel like I would like sweeping if I knew how to f fucking do it. I'm just bad at it. Now, if we're talking swiffering, now we're cooking. I'm a swiffer sweeper master. Both in terms of like the little thing that squirts on the floor and then you have like the mop. And in terms of the duster. Oh, I should probably dust too. I hadn't considered that. I'm just gonna, like, sterilize this whole house, I think. Or at least as much as I can in the next two hours before I'm gonna need to stream again, but... You know, if I want to do three games, that is. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know yet if I want to do, like, 6 to 12 for these three stream nights, or 8 to 2. Which do you guys think would be better for your guys' like, viewing schedules, if you guys want to be around for it live? Because that would be the time to decide. I know what you mean, your weapon isn't suited to spreading the land. Well, that is- that does tend to be what I use it for most of the time, so... I am kind of- I'm a little guilty. Oh shit, that's where everybody is, cool. I spotted somebody with that. Yo, get nanated! How the fuck do you not know how to sweep? You brush and pull in one direction across the floor until you get a pile of dust and dirt. Then you get a dustpan and brush it and scoop it up and bin that shit. You know, that's what you would think. But I'm always told, Griffin, why are you sweeping like that? Here, give give me that, you idiot. And I'm like, okay. I don't know. I think I kind of know, but everyone tells me that I don't, so... I think I would take the wisdom of that over, you know, my own judgment. Yo, sweeping is like the best chore. Again, I'm good at swiffering, but not sweeping. Maybe you just got like a weird broom? Which actually- get nade nade. Which actually, by the way, is a totally viable excuse, because I remember when we first moved into the into the house we're in now, um, we didn't have any shovels, so my mom decided to get this, this like really expensive, like fancy, you know, efficient shovel or whatever. But like the handle was rotated like 90 degrees to what it should be. Like you know, at the very end of the shovel, how it's got. A horizontal handle in the same way that, like, the end of the shovel's hor horizontal. Like, it's the same way, right? She got one where the handle is, like, rotated 90 degrees the other way, and it's, like, impossible to grab. And I could not shovel with it, so I just had to, like, borrow one from the neighbors that, like, worked. And to this day, I still- we still have that shovel, and I still don't know how you're intended to hold it. Eee! 
I knew this lad was up to something. That shit is bad. Toxic parenting. I'm afraid you're gonna have to elaborate on that because I feel like I could apply to like everything that I've said like since this topic got brought up. Also, we won! Yay! Sweeping over trash over laundry over dishes. If I had to sort those four chores, I mine would be like... Laundry over sweeping over trash over dishes. Like, I can cope with any four of those, but if I had to sort from, like, most favorite to least favorite. Also, uh-oh! Is that the end? Polishing over sweeping over dishes over trash management. Yeah, trash is, like, painless, so... Oh, when your parents take over while you're doing a task. Yeah, that, that happened a lot growing up. And I turned out fine. <laughs> the Splatfest is donezo. Congrats, players. We're all winners today. Except those fucking trick bastards. Yeah, yeah. Switch team gets all the glory. Little Judd is tallying the numbers as we speak. We should know soon. Check it. Here are the current regular battle stages. And those really wouldn't have been much fun during the Splatfest anyways. I went digging in my backyard earlier today, and I found some old bones. Human bones, huh? Yeah, those things are everywhere. The Lord, Luigi! And these are the current ranked battle stages. I don't know I'm, like, indulging all of this, because I'm not going to be playing it. Is Starfish main stage on a beach? It probably is, but I haven't noticed. Yeah, okay. Get out of here, Parl! And that's all the time we've got. Until next time, don't get cooked, stay off the hook. Can I have my thought gear back, though? I've got my yucky yellow default t-shirt. Oh, everyone's still wearing their, their, like, Halloween gear and stuff. Wow, look at this one. That's some... That is definitely some dithering. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Night in the Woods. Now this is the one furry that I am okay with. In Salmon Run, if you're awful at using the cannons, then please don't. Let's treat ourselves to a win. These are some cute posts, I love these. <gasps> is that supposed to be like Link? It's got like hearts on it. I kinda, I'm gonna give it a yeah under the assumption that it is Link. Who won? Uh, they tally the results a little bit later, so we should find out either tonight or tomorrow. I forget how long it takes. Dark Scrad Show Me the Forbidden something type B? Yeah, okay. Night in the Woods. But there's not as many uh, posts on the Splatman to check out anymore. This is so sad. Treat for life. Now that's a post. Happy Splatoween! Here's that again. Team Trick. Hate to break it to you, Chief. You're not getting a yeah. Who are you, though? Grisco closed, so I guess it's time for turf. Be happy or die. I really like the specific way that Smiley Face is drawn. <gasps> now this is epic! God damn it. You, you get a yeah. A reluctant yeah, but you... God damn it, you've earned it. I don't think I've read this. Boo. Poof. You scared the life out of... St stay still! You scared the life out of me that's hard to believe. Okay. Take a screenshot and I'll draw your cephalopod. That's valid. That, that's a cute squid. Get... Marked. Oh, hi, Mark. Yo, this dude's got tricks! 
Look at them go! You're doing amazing, sweetie! Yo, they got moves! Hoo! Damn! Now that's fresh. I'm the one true dilly. Well, I'm the one true thought, so let's put that gear back on. Yes, yes, the thought gear. That's the good shit. All right, well, that's on the posts, and I guess that's Splatoween, and that's going ham on the cereal. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later tonight, but for now, that was Splatoon 2 Splatoween. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can follow me here on Twitch or on YouTube at the Full Galaxy, where all the VODs are, plus highlights and more. Um, if you really liked what you saw, you can subscribe to me here on Twitch as well. Team Treat, because what is Hereditary 2018 without some snacks? What is a ghost? Um, <laughs> you can also check me out on Twitter, Tumblr, and Discord. There's a server with all sorts of channels for you guys to hang out in both on and off stream. And if any of that interests you, then you can check it out in the uh, Twitch cards below if you're watching this live, or in the YouTube description if you're watching the VODs. So with that, y'all have a good day. Y'all have a good Splatoween. And I hope that whatever team you're on wins, as long as it's Team Treat. If you're Team Trick, I hope the opposite. Okay, we'll see ya.